in the late 70s or early 80s, I decided to take an anthropological excursion into Erie and Jaya. I went by myself, I hired a guide there, and we started trekking up the mountain, going towards a certain village. Before we got there, we met these people and they challenged us with spears, they came right up to us, and after they accepted us with our, my guide interpreting, they incorporated us into the war games. <laughs> this one and this one are simply breast pieces they wore as necklaces. This is a ritualistic knife used for amputations. When a woman loses a husband, a mother, a father, or a child, they mourn them by amputating one of the woman's fingers and they will take up to three fingers. And many times you see women walking like this. First of all, we have to put it in the context. Michael Rockefeller died in 1961 in the Asmat area, which was a short distance from these Correct. people. That material is now the primary material from New Guinea in the Metropolitan Museum. And now that's material that came out literally 10 or 15 years before you gathered this. So that's an important thing to remember. This is a fairly obscure tribe. And so the fact that you were there and this still existed in really a traditional state is exciting and then really terrific that you collected it. As is with the story and the fantastic picture down there, this is a collection to be worth two to $3,000. Now we do have two more pieces that I've held back. And I'm gonna hand one to you. And as we know, these things are penis sheaths or koteka. Now, what is really fascinating is in 1970 and 71, the government of Erie and Jaya tried to abolish penis sheaths. And it was actually called Operation Koteka. It was unsuccessful. They tried to get the natives into shorts, and it didn't work. These things are slipped over the penis, and they're used for protection as they run through the bush. It's also an idea where they're trying to keep the little girls from seeing that part of the man's anatomy. And then finally, I think we have to accept the fact that it could be a fertility device that maybe is advertising to some extent. Perhaps. I would say that the value of the sheaths are probably in the five to $700 range. And again, with a fabulous documentation. So now if we take the sheaths and we add it in with the other group, we're in the 25 to $3,500 range for the entire collection. Very nice.